So it's seeming like recently, whenever I make a video talking about something not being updated, I talk about Microsoft. Well, Microsoft can take a second to relax, take a second to chill because Samsung is now in the news. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this. Posted by Android Authority with the article artist being Han Lee Simons, who goes ahead and talks about, yes, the Z Fold 4 is finally getting the September update. Kinda. So, yeah, when the Z Fold 4 first came out, it was still stuck on the July security update. It did not get the August or the September just yet, which of course is really concerning when this phone is $1,800. It's not a huge deal, obviously, but you want to have the most updated version of your phone possible. And when other Samsung phones are getting more updated updates than this phone, that's kind of an issue when this phone is $1,800. Now, of course, this is not officially released for everybody. On September 30th, it was released for Indi the Indian market exclusively. So it is not even worldwide yet when it comes to the September updates. We might have to wait a mo couple more days before that becomes a thing. Now, don't get me wrong. Overall wise, Samsung has done a great job, right? They gave the One UI 4.1.1 to the Z Fold 2 and Z Fold 3. They also went ahead on September 1st, two weeks after the launch of the uh, Z Fold 4. They actually went ahead and did a day one patch, which went ahead and fixed the stability issues, performance bugs, and stability improvements. Now, the key thing about all this is, of course, this is Samsung. The Z Fold 4 has four generations of the Z Fold series under its belt, and it has been upgraded, perfected, you know, countless different times. So it's not like Microsoft, where when they put out the Surface Duo 1, it was a buggy mess and failure. This is not the case with the Surface Duo. So the Surface Duo, even though, yes, they aren't updating it as often as we would like for them to update it, it's not like them not updating it is going to cause any issues or any, you know, usability problems. But at the same time, though, it would be nice if they did what Microsoft did. You got to give Microsoft the hand here because Microsoft, since Surface Duo 1 and 2 has come out, every single month we have received updates for both devices. And it's just a nice little... You know, thing as a consumer, if a company is constantly updating the device that you do use, that you spend all your money on, and when this is $1,800, you kind of just want to see these updates come out a little bit more frequently. For example, when will the Z Fold 4 get Android 13? Right here is speculating December or January to get Android 13. This has to come out soon, especially if anything, just a beta just so we can see how it looks on this phone. I'm going to tell you right now, when Android 12's beta came out on the Z Fold 3, that was probably the best beta I've ever used and the most fun beta I've ever used. And I'm really hoping that they go ahead and release this beta for 13 very, very soon because 13 is even better than 12 when it comes to foldable phones and tablets. As we get higher and higher up on Android, we're going to get more optimization versions for these large screen and tablets. Currently, 13 has two different overlays. One overlay is for a regular candy bar cell phone and one's for a tablet cell phone. So again, like I said, I cannot wait till they do go ahead and release the actual Android 13 to this device. But overall wise, like I said, yes, we're not currently at the September 30th update or the September update until it is released for everyone. I wouldn't take this as a concern. If you are going to spend the $1,800, you know, this is not going to be a problem. There was a problem with this device. Samsung would get out an update very quickly in order to fix it. But I will say, though, this kind of sparks up another conversation because the Z Fold 4 is not your typical flagship phone. At the end of the day, this phone is created for the tech enthusiasts, the tech guys out there, old tech women who want to go ahead and have the best, coolest, most unique phone possible, right? And most of the people who are in that space, they want to have Android 13. They want to try out the new betas. They want to try out new things and actually be able to utilize them on their phones. So it's kind of like 
Samsung. We're getting close to the holidays here. You know, we're getting close to Christmas. If you're trying to push this phone out here, giving us Android 13, if you give us fully Android 13, that would absolutely sell this phone two times it is selling right now. But even if you just give us the beta, it gets more people interested in the whole concept of this phone, especially with how optimized it truly can be. That's the one thing that is holding back any affordable cell phones, period, is how optimized are they truly for their said phone? So how optimized is the software for that said phone? So if you're looking at, for example, uh, Surface Duo 2, and none of the things are optimized for, and the software crashes and buggy, that takes away the whole entire experience when wanting the device. But if you have the Android 13, and let's say, for example, even on Surface Duo 2, it is fluent, everything works fine, everything is programmed correctly, it gets more people interested, right? And when you have more people interested, more people make videos on it, sparks up more interest, and bam, next thing you know, you have 10 million units like Samsung projected for the Z Fold 4 and the Z Fold 3. I'm mean, sorry, Z Flip 4 and Z Fold 4. It's not a big deal right now, but Samsung, I definitely will say moving forward, don't release a product when it's two months behind on security updates, you know. It's just little things like that. Again, Samsung will do better, get better, and eventually we'll have a perfect device that comes out, and there'll be no problem at all. Microsoft, we're still waiting on them, but they're probably going to tell us that Android 12L is going to come out by the end of this year, and we're probably going to get it in February next year. Who knows, though? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.